Welcome, dear friends. I'm honored that you are here and that you have accepted my invitation. I want to tell you something about this seminar, why it has born and uh, how. Well, you know that I'm fond of the astrotopics. This is my passion and my hobby since a couple of years. I have studied aerospace engineering at the university many years ago, but uh, unfortunately, that has never been my job. In the recent times, I've started a YouTube channel where I amuse myself with some astro problems. Definitely, by means of this seminar, my intention is to offer a more systematic approach, going step by step, and also with an interactive method, because I love receiving feedback as well. Let's see briefly the content of the seminar. There are 10 lectures. The first three are telling the very basics, how an orbit is looking like, what are the invariant parameters, and the which ones are changing instead. The chapter four is introducing the rocket equation, calculating the fuel for a space mission, whichever it is. The chapter five and six are displaying the fundamental orbital maneuvers in the plane. The chapter seven, eight, and 10 are describing the space missions, respectively to our moon, to a foreign planet and to the moon of a foreign planet. And they are of increasing difficulty. The chapter nine is presenting the Lambert problem. It is a very common problem for space travels. How to find the orbit of a celestial body just knowing its position in two different time frames. Beside the presentation, there will be some Excel worksheets to develop the calculation whenever they appear in the lectures. There will be also some geometrical animations using the program GeoGebra. Last but not least, astrodynamics was invented by Walter Oman. He was a German civil engineer who wrote in 1925 a book, Attainability of Celestial Bodies, where he developed all the theory of the interplanetary travels. Astro was actually just his hobby, and by the way, at that time, they even did not exist the rockets, and his discoveries has been taken over by NASA later on and used for the Apollo program. What is the difference with astrophysics? The question of the astrophysics is, what is there? Astrodynamics asks how to get there instead. Astrodynamics does not care about history and inside materials of the celestial bodies, and is not interested in the development of the universe. Moreover, astrodynamics does not look at the far stars. Interest is limited to the bodies close by that sooner or later we can land to. Astrodynamics is not using very complex formulas for describing the motion of the celestial bodies because our travels are not ballistic. Of course, there are synergies among the two disciplines. Astrodynamics allows the exploration of the universe and helps astrophysics. A recent example is given by the launch of the Webb telescope. Astrophysics teaches which interactions among the bodies must be taken care for planning an interplanetary mission. Also, there are interactions among them. Orbits are Keplerian type, that is perfect conics. The motion is only two-dimensional. However, it is adopted plane change time by time. The mathematical model is the two-body restricted problem. They interact only two bodies at once, and the second one has a negligible mass compared to the first one. If more bodies are taking place, then the patched conics approximation is used. We cannot demonstrate all the formulas, however, a reference to the relevant source will be given. The calculations are done in a separate Excel file distributed during the seminar. In the presentation, only the formulas and the final result is displayed. This is the essential bibliography. Those are the main sources that helped me to develop the seminar. I'm not following any specific course. However, the material displayed here is fully original and belongs to the presenter. I want to dedicate the seminar to my uncle Massimo Trella. You can see his profile in Wikipedia and I owe to him my passion to space.
Enjoy.